Parenteral nutrition, or PN, is nutrition that is given directly into the CVAD. It is used when a person is unable to get their nutrition from eating. PN is usually given over 8 hours or more each day. The CVAD infection rate is higher with PN than with other fluids, so it is important to follow good technique, watch for signs of infection, and keep all appointments with your health care provider so they can check and adjust your PN as needed. Let's review a few important points regarding PN. Tell your health care provider about any other medication and vitamins you are taking and if you have any allergies. Store your PN in a clean and dry area. If you are given a several-day supply of PN, place the extra bags in the refrigerator. Be sure to take your next dose out of the refrigerator four to six hours before using it so that it warms to room temperature. Never microwave your PN. Add any medication to the PN just before using it. PN can cause side effects. Tell your health care provider if you have a fever, difficulty breathing, rapid weight gain or loss, upset stomach, vomiting, or nausea, muscle weakness or cramps, swelling of your hands or feet, confusion or memory loss, heart palpitations or skip beats, skin rashes. To give PN, prepare a work area that is clean, clutter-free, well-lit, and free from distractions. Clean the work area with soap and water and dry with a paper towel. You can also cover the surface with a clean towel if it is not washable. Gather your supplies. This will include an alcohol wipe, clean gloves, and medication and fluids for flushing, sodium chloride or heparin syringe. Check the medication or fluid. Check the labels to be sure you are giving the right medication at the right time. Wash your hands the right way. Anyone caring for your central line needs to wash their hands before and after they touch it. Here are the steps for washing your hands. Turn on the water and wet your hands and wrists. Rub your hands together to make a lather and scrub them well. Be sure to scrub the backs of your hands, between your fingers, and under your nails. Continue rubbing your hands for at least 20 seconds. If you need a timer, hum the happy birthday song from beginning to end twice. Rinse your hands well and dry them with a clean towel. There are some times when you may be using an alcohol-based hand cleaner instead. Be sure to rub the cleaner over all surfaces of your hands and fingers until your hands are dry. Don't touch anything other than your supplies after you clean your hands. Add in any medication to the injection port of the PN bag. Make sure you clean the port vigorously before adding the medications. Connect and prime the infusion tubing. Open the IV tubing supplies. Clamp the tubing using the roller clamp. Add on the special PN filter. Remove the spike cover and insert this into the fluid bag. Squeeze the drip chamber and fill it halfway with fluid. Attach the tubing to the pump. There will be a button that you can hold to flush or prime the fluid through the line. Be sure no air is in the tubing. Your fluid and pump may be inserted into a backpack. Put on clean gloves. Wipe needleless connector with your cleaning solution, alcohol, or CHG wipe for 15 seconds. Flush the line first. Uncap the sodium chloride syringe. Remove any air by holding it upright and push the air out from the tip. Attach the syringe into the needleless connector. If there is a clamp, unclamp the tubing. Push the plunger slowly so the fluid goes into the tubing. Remove the sodium chloride flush. Attach the fluid tubing. Be sure no air is in line and be sure not to touch the tip of the tubing. Secure the tubing to the central access site. PN will run through an infusion pump. Set the rate on the pump and hit start. Taper down your PN. For children less than 3 years and patients with known glucose control issues, it is recommended that the PN be gradually decreased or tapered down. Remove fluids and flush line with sodium chloride and, if needed, heparin. Clamp the tubing. Wash your hands. 
put on clean gloves. Wipe the needleless connector with your cleaning solution, alcohol or CHG wipe, for 15 seconds. To insert the fluids, uncap the sodium chloride syringe. Remove any air by holding it upright and push the air out from the tip. Attach the syringe into the needleless connector. If there is a clamp, unclamp the tubing. 